Our first guest is an Emmy Award-winning comedian who is the host of the hit NBC game show, The Wall. Take a look. You've gone wall to wall. This could yes. be very big yes. in either direction. Yes. There's a lot of money at stake. Yes. So, uh, Uncle Phil was a lawyer. Hillary was a talk show host! <laughs> to rain some cash right, onto this All right, wall. all right, all right, let's make some money here, Chris, let's make some money. All right, all right, here we go, here we go, here we go, let's all right. Please welcome Chris Harwick. How are you? I am wonderful, thank you so much for being here. It's really an honor to meet you, like I tell you, you're one of those uh, performers who whenever I told people I was doing your show, everyone across the board is like, oh, I love her. You know? Like, it's just nice. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. And we're all fans of yours. You've been hosting shows for what, 30 years? I am like 105 years old. You're not yeah, 105, yeah. I feel though. like I'm 105. Oh, my God. So you started on MTV? I did, yeah. I started on MTV when I was, like, 22 or something. What was the first show you did on MTV? It was a show called Trashed. It was a game show mm -hmm. in like 1994. Oh my God, I look 12. Uh, and the concept of the show is that teams of people would come on and they would bring their actual personal possessions. Mm -hmm. And if they got questions wrong, a guy would come out with these crazy contraptions and destroy their stuff. So like if they had like, you know, a record collection or, oh my God. you know, back in the 1900s, TVs were like 400 pounds. So like <laughs> yeah. someone would like throw a ball through it and destroy it. So it was, it was a really silly show. Tell me about your mom. Your mom sang opera? Yeah, my mom is an incredible singer. My mom was like sang opera when, you know, when she was uh, a kid and in college and, you know, it really has an amazing voice. Still sings. Mm. Like, growing up my whole life, she was the song leader in church, and so she was, you know, just has an incredible voice. Do you sing opera? I, no, I don't sing opera. Like, I, I, have a, I think I have a decent voice for, like, a comedian. Like, I can karaoke sing, like, two songs. But uh, What songs is that? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, we're right. well, you know when you go to karaoke, like, you have your couple of... <laughs> Yeah. You know, even if you went every week, you would still do your two songs because it's like, <laughs> well, I mean, not you, you can sing everything, but Aww, for me, thank you. like, I, I had my, like, two songs. I think there was, like, a Led Zeppelin song and, like, a Bon Jovi uh -huh. song and, oh. you know, any of that kind of, like, gravelly voice rock, I oh, really... Oh, that's your, that's your forte right there? Yeah, yeah. You won't give us enough? No, well, I don't know. I mean, I don't... Well, can I do it? Just one line. Okay. You're, you're being very encouraging, but you haven't heard it yet. Um, can, can, <laughs> they might be like, oh, we were very wrong about that. Um, can, I, can, I, can I do it within the body of a quick story? Yes. Okay, so I was in the original production of this show called Rock of Ages. Yes. And I did the original LA run and I played, there's, there I am. Um, that's when I was very 80s. Uh, so <laughs> I played this character named Stacy Jacks. So I go to Comic-Con every year and I like moderate panels for movies and stuff. And one year, um, Tom Cruise was on one of the panels. Mm -hmm. And I hadn't met him before, but it's Tom Cruise. So I introduce him and he comes out, you know, there's like 7,000 people there in Hall H at San Diego Comic-Con. And before I can say anything, he goes, hey Chris, you and I have something in common. And I don't know what to say because I'm like, how does Tom Cruise know who I am? What the hell do we have in common? <laughs> and he goes, Rock of Ages. And I remembered, like, oh, that's right. He played this character in the Rock of Ages movie. Wow. So I I'm very rarely at a loss for words, but I can't wrap my mind around this surreal moment. And all of a sudden, Tom Cruise, out of nowhere, goes, I want to know what love is. Say, sir! And, and, then he, and then he looks at me, and I'm like, uh... I want you to show me. And then Tom Cruise goes, I want to feel what love is. And I'm like, and then now, and now, and now you can show me. And you did that. And I honestly, for a second, was like, this isn't real. I died on the way to Comic Con, and Tom Cruise works for heaven. Like, so that was my, uh, that was my crazy, amazing Tom Cruise music story. Yeah. He just sang us down. A little bit. 
and just <laughs> sat back down. <laughs> oh my God, I was not ready for that. Well, I am very flattered, and, and now, <laughs> I, now I feel very shy about it. I you appreciate know, that. You did that. Oh, thank you. You turned the happy place right I on now. Really, I really appreciate that. Oh, now I'm all self conscious about oh, it. Oh my God. Okay, you gotta talk to us about The Wall, sure. the game show. Yes. Tell us about what the season is about. So this is our, I think we're going into our fifth season now. We've uh -huh. done about 100 episodes. And um, nice. it's basically, I don't know if you, oh, thank you. I know, in television, that is a, that is a big a, deal. Yeah, that's a big deal. Um, so it, if you've never seen the show, we have this giant, like, four-story wall. Yes, huge. And uh, we drop all these balls down it, and people answer questions, and they come on as teams, and one person goes into isolation and answers questions. The other person out front picks where the balls are going to play from at the top of the wall. And it's really incredible because, you know, just as a game show, it's fun and it's flashy and I mm -hmm. love game shows. But the thing that really gets me about the show is everyone who's on the show is just like, be, they're just wonderful people, Aww. like shining examples. There's not a show that we do that afterwards I don't go, that, this is how people can be, this is so inspiring. <laughs> So it is, it's such a lovely um, slice of humanity on this show. And I, love I, I just love it. It's just such a, it's such a beautiful show. Love that. Yeah. And we give away like millions of dollars. Like people mm. can be down to zero and then up to two million and you know, and, and people leave with a lot of money. So I'm, I'm, I, I just, I love to give, I want to give people NBC's money. That's what I want to do. So. Give NBC's money, yeah. there it goes. Yeah. Speaking of growing, you yes. have a beautiful baby girl. Yes. How old is she? So Dimity, her name is Dimity. There That's she is. So there, there, yeah, there's, there's, there she is. She's um, uh, thir 15 months now. 15 she's 15 months. months. Yeah. Is she walking yet? Oh yeah, yeah. She's been walking for a while, and and she jumped from crawling to walking because uh, <laughs> we, my wife, last fall mm -hmm. started taking her to this like mommy and me baby class. So other babies would be there, and there was a teacher who would sing songs. And she hadn't been crawling yet, and she saw another baby crawl, and she came home, and she was like, I'm going to figure this out. Oh. And she was up all night. She figured out crawling the next day, and within, like, a month, she was walking. Mm. And do, I, do, if, if anyone has, yes, give it up for my child. <laughs> and, uh, and it is, like, it's wonderful to watch a person, like, come online, and especially, like, your first kid is, like, your joy, yes. you know? Like, however in your head you get about anything, you just look at them and you're immediately present and go, this is, there's nothing better or more important than this. And which is why it's so terrifying when they start walking <laughs> because you casually save their life like a thousand times a day. Because <laughs> they just start running and stuff and you're like, no, no, corners, corners, corners. And my wife and I are basically, I was like, we're like the bumpers in the gutter at a bowling alley, you know? Like, we're just constantly. But she's doing great, and she's just the absolute best. I just, I just adore her. I love yeah. that. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Oh, you beautiful baby. OK, and I hear your wife is like me. She loves some scary movies. Oh, do you like horror? Are you a oh, horror I do. I do love a horror film. Oh, my god. There's Lydia. Yeah, that's my wife. Hey, Lydia. Lydia. And she uh, <laughs> is fanatical about horror movies and collects horror movie props. Does she ever scare you? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She, she has all these horror movie props. She has original gremlins. She has original stuff from actual used in movies. And I, oh. I guess we had been together about a year, and I came home, and she had bought... Um, it, was, it was designed for, I think, Universal's Halloween Horror Nights, and it was um, an exorcist, like a life-size exorcist, doll, like after... Oh. Yeah, there it is. That's it. That's it. Okay, so imagine you come home from work late at night, oh, and you God. open the door, and that's in your entryway. Oh, my God! And I, I'm pretty sure I was like, a, <laughs> oh, my God! Like, there was probably, like, a shrill... And, you know, now I've gotten used to it. And, and honestly, Linda Blair and I follow each other on Instagram, and I don't know if I've ever told her about this before, but this is, <laughs> now, I, now I can't imagine our house without it. Oh you know what God. I mean? Like, it's such a part of us. So, yes, that, my wife is, d does love the Chris, horror movies. That's an ugly doll, okay? <laughs> <laughs> if you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.